This is your time. This is your season. And this is your moment. Welcome to another edition of This is your time. This is your season. And this is your moment. This is Tommy Campbell Jr. Today I want to let you know you are going to, this global pandemic, this COVID-19 global pandemic, it will not stop you. It will not defeat you. You are going to make it through this pandemic. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and please spread the word about me all over as a motivational speaker. I greatly appreciate your support. And before I go any further, I want to give all my love and my condolences to all the families around the world who has lost loved ones due to this COVID-19 global pandemic. You have my love and my empathy and my condolences. And I just want to let you know, I am so sorry for the families who has lost loved ones during the COVID-19 pandemic. I want to let you know that anything is possible. You're going to do it. You're going to achieve it. You're going to accomplish it. Come on, let's do our mental exercise. You know, in every one of my motivational videos, I always do our mental exercise. Why? Because repetition is the mother of skill. And I want to take my time today. I want to just teach you today. Because when you get teaching, whenever you are taught, whenever you receive teaching, you get understanding. And once you get understanding, it brings forth empowerment. And empowerment brings forth transformation. So let's do our mental exercise. I want you to get it in your mind right now. Whatever you want to do, whatever you want to be, whatever you want to become, get it in your mind. Then I want you to imagine yourself accomplishing your dreams in your mind. Why? Because you can do it. I am in London. I am in Bermuda. I am in Australia. I am in Canada. I am in the NBA. I am in the NFL. I am in corporate. I am international. Why? Because I am creating greatness. And today's motivational video today is create greatness. Today I'm going to teach you how to create greatness, how to develop a greatness-like mentality. In this video today, I'm going to teach you how to develop a championship-like mentality. And I promise, I promise, I don't want you to just watch this motivational video. I want you to take these principles and apply it to your life. I want these principles to become a way of life for you. I want you to, I want this to be a lifestyle. I want this to be a mindset. I don't want you to just do them. I want these principles. I want this motivational video to become a mindset for you. Because what makes a lion the king of the jungle is not the fact that it's a lion, but what makes a lion a king of the jungle is because of the mindset of the lion. What do you mean, Tommy? What type of mindset does the lion have? When a lion wakes up, when the sun comes up in the jungle, the lion is just not focusing on eating. Although eating for the lion, eating is an intricately important part for the lion's livelihood. But the, one, but the great thing about the lion is not only is the lion excited about eating, but the lion is excited about the hunt. The lion is excited about the chasing. So that's what you have to do. You want to chase after your dreams. You want to hunt after your dreams. You want to go after your dreams. Because anything is possible. You can't win the Super Bowl. You can't win the NBA championship. You can't win the NCAA championship. You can't become the best surgeon. You can't become a doctor. You can't be a surgeon. You can't be a nurse. You can't be a teacher. You can't be a principal. You can't be a lawyer. You can't be an athlete. You can't be a a real estate investor. You can't sell real estate. You can't be an actor, movie producer, tennis player, soccer player, basketball player, football player, whatever you want to be. I'm going to teach you how to create greatness in your life. Your present situation is not your final destination. That brings me to my first one. That's what I want to tell you. Your present situation is 
is not your final destination. What do you mean, Tommy? Where you are right now is not where you're going to be in the future. Because you may be in a low place right now. You may have just gotten started on your dreams. Or you may have not gotten started on your dreams. You may be procrastinating. Let me tell you something. If you're going to be great, if you're going to be successful, you have to stop procrastinating. You have to stop putting it off. And you have to get started. And lastly, you must be leaving yourself. Because where you are now is not where you're going to be five years from now. I'm speaking that over your life. Five years from now, you're going to be on a whole other dimension. Five years from now, you're going to be on a whole other level. I'm speaking it for you. I believe in you. You're going to accomplish your dreams. You're going to become everything you're supposed to be. You're going to become greatness. You're going to become success. You're going to accomplish your dreams. Because your present situation is not your final destination. You may be depressed. You may be suicidal. You may be going through a divorce. You may have been through a divorce. You may be in a bad relationship. You may have just gotten out of a bad relationship. You may have had a rough childhood. You may be struggling with depression. You may have a mental illness. You may have low self-esteem. You may have low energy. You may be in a dark place right now. But your present situation is not your final destination. The best is yet to come. Greatness and success is coming for you. The best is yet to come. Greatness and success is coming for you. I heard someone say, don't wait for the opportunity. That's my next point. Don't wait for the opportunity. What do you mean? I want you to create it. Don't wait for the opportunity. I want you to create your opportunity. The greatest level of success and greatness is saying, I did it. That's the greatest level of success is making the statement, being able to say, I did it. I passed that test. I passed that GED. I got into college. I won the Super Bowl. I won the NBA championship. I won the NCAA championship. I won the Masters. I became a doctor. I became a lawyer. I became a nurse. I became a teacher. I became a real estate investor. I'm selling real estate. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a billionaire. I'm a CEO of that company. I'm a multi-millionaire. I'm happy. I'm, I'm, I'm healthy. I'm I'm whole, I'm victorious, I'm prosperous. The greatest level of success and greatness is saying, I did it. When you get to a place in your life that you can say, I did it, then you have created greatness. And that's the place I want you to get to in the midst of your pain. Many of you or you are in pain right now. Many of you, you may be depressed. You may be going through. You may not, you may not feel like going after your dreams. Let me tell you something. In the midst of your pain is whenever you need to be grinding the most. In the midst of your pain is when you need to be going after your dreams like never before. Because you have a story. You have a unique experience that no one that no one else has. You can take your pain. You can take your depression. You can take what you're going through and use it to become successful. Use it as fuel. Use it as motivation. Tim Fargo said, who you are tomorrow. I'm teaching. Who you are tomorrow begins with what you do today. I think I need to say that again. Tim Fargo said, who you are tomorrow begins with what you do today. How are you going to shape your tomorrow? Your tomorrow is going to be shaped by what you do today. Your future is going to be shaped by what you do right now. I'm closing. Someone said, hope is the foundation for which all successful goals are built upon. I'm teaching today. I'm just teaching. Hope is the foundation for which all successful goals are built upon. Faith is the foundation for your success. When you have faith, when you have hope, when you believe in yourself, when you know you can do it, when you know you can achieve it, when you know you can accomplish it, you can go to the next level. 
Are you willing to try and risk going too far? How far are you willing to go? Exceed. This is what I want you to do. Exceed your limitations. Go beyond your limitations. Supersede your limitations. I went from flunking the first grade, being bullied in school, been, been labeled as retarded, had a reading and learning, learning disability. My high school teacher told me I wasn't smart enough to go to college. She said I wouldn't graduate high school. I got in college and I flunked out of college. I took the military test and flunked the military test. I became homeless in 2009. I was innocently shot multiple times and pronounced dead in the hospital. And now years later, I'm a published author I'm a published author of four motivational books. This is my fourth motivational book that just got published. It's on Amazon. Let me tell you something. Look at this book. You are phenomenal. You are a champion. Let me tell you something. You are phenomenal. You are beautiful. You are special. You are intelligent. You matter. You are amazing. You are beautiful. You are special. You are gifted beyond measure. You are phenomenal. You are amazing and you matter. Just in case no one has told you, I want to tell you I'm proud of you. I want to tell the whole world that I love you. I believe in you. I get in front of this camera every day for free because I love you. Because I believe in you. And I want to tell the whole world that I love you and I believe in you. And now I am a nominee for the Nobel Peace Prize Award. And I received my doctoral degree. And I'm a first generation college graduate student. Went from flunking the first grade to a nominee for the Nobel Peace Prize Award. To getting my doctoral degree. To being a motivational speaker. People made it through cancer because of my videos. People did not commit suicide because of my motivational videos. People accomplished their dreams because of my motivational videos. Why? Because I created greatness. And that's what I want you to do. I want you to create greatness. Greatness is upon you. You can do it. You will do it. You can achieve it. You can accomplish it. Dr. Eric Thomas says, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. But I say, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to live, you will be successful on a whole nother level. And the great Les Brown says, if you can look up, you can get up. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please spread the word about me all over social media as a motivational speaker. Please support me. Please put positive likes. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Listen, I want to tell the whole world that I love you and I believe in you. I do this for you all. I do this for the whole world because I believe in you. And I'm looking into this camera right now. I'm looking into your soul. And I want to ask you this question. How bad do you want it? Are you going to go after your dreams? Are you going to do something with your life? Are you going to go after your dreams? Are you going to dream big? Are you going to stop being negative? And are you going to start being positive? You must stop being negative. And you must become positive. You must see the good in every bad situation. This is your time. This is your season. And this is your moment.